Good morning, hi there everyone. Welcome to Antagonist and uh, Mrs. Antagonist and Junior Antagonist. And this morning we are in Whittington near Cheltenham. And we're gonna go join the Cotswold Way and walk up onto Cleve Common. So uh, it's a beautiful day in February. There's one bird. Wally Farm. On a beautiful English spring day. See the rooks collecting sticks to build their nests. We're heading towards Cleve Hill Common. Looking back to our start point. Because we're in the Cotswolds, you can see the dry stone wall, Cotswold stone. That's our horse up in front, that's our second mammal we've seen today. After a squirrel, we're on bird number five. We've seen seagull, uh, yellow hammer, rook, Greek tit, and a couple of male chaffinches. Here it looks like the dry stone walling has been deliberately taken apart with a view to rebuilding the top of it. By the looks of it, it might be that someone's lost their life here and they went through that wall. Didn't go around this bend here. And we've now joined up with the long distance footpath, the Cotswold Way. A little antagonist is looking down to Cheltenham there, just nestling in the valley, making our way up towards Cleve Common, looking back down into the valley where we've just come from. Walked up underneath those pylons, up an avenue of beech trees. What you can't smell is the kale or the oilseed rape in front of me. It's quite a cabbagey smell in front of me here. Quite breezy too. A lovely grove of beech trees, my favourite trees, seem to come out of that lovely green. Down here we've got some crocus and the first spring flowers, the snowdrops poking through there. Our first view of our pylons in the distance the transmitters up towards Cleve Common. I put my little microphone on, hopefully it's coping with the wind. Odd place to find candelabra. Seems to be the nice place to come and burn your rubbish. Nicer people, isn't it? I think round here used to be an old quarry, which is why there's so much junk and tipping going on. We walked into an area of gorse furzy. I'm guessing there's a bit of management going on here, clearing the scrub that's taking over the heath, trying to get it the heath to re-establish. And in the distance you can just see the stands of Cheltenham Racecourse down there, crossing into the Prestbury Hill Reserve. And someone very thoughtfully has put a chair there for us. The ground is kept for butterfly conservation. And yesterday I saw two yellow brimstones, the bright yellow butterflies. And that's in February. Amazing. We're just stopping for a little light liquid refreshment. And down there is the other junior antagonist who's at a netball coaching umpiring uh, course today. I should just say, Sorry. as I would just say, thank you very much to, uh, for joining us. Uh, for all those people that have subscribed, we're up to 94. I'm still looking for another six. So if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe, because when you reach 100, something special happens. And somehow on YouTube, I've managed to become a verified YouTuber which you have to have normally 100,000 uh, uh, subscribers, and I've only got less than 100, so I'm not quite sure how I've done that, but uh, that's good anyway. So I hope you enjoyed the rest of the walk with us. Oh Lovely sheltered valley here, and you can see which way the wind blows, the way the trees, tops of the trees are lower on the left and get bigger on the right. So in England, our predominant weather comes from the southwest, 
So there's a good indication where the predominant wind's blowing from. So now you'll know which way is the southwest. Thank you. Make sure we shut it behind us. Gives you a view back along the scarp. See lots of walkers and runners up here today. So this is as close as we can get if you're a lazy person and you don't want to walk up here to the top of the hill. If you're walking your dog from Cheltenham, you come up here. So we've joined up with the Winchcombe Way and we're now on Cleave Common. And if I just do a quick whiz all the way around, back to the car park, you can see it is a well-walked area. An inversion going on there down in Cheltenham. We're above the cloud and we've just come up to a fort, an Iron Age hill fort I'm guessing. Seems to be where everyone wants to go and visit. You can see the ramparts, the lumpy bits in front of us. Just teeing up, aiming at the post on the horizon. Not bad, not bad at all. Looking down to Nutters Down, there used to be a former quarry there. Back to the fort. And that, I think, is Woodman Cut. And the rocky scarp outcrops looking north. Interesting lumps and bumps here. Makes for an interesting golf course. Try not to hit anybody. Walking up towards the orientation point and trig point. Someone waving a white flag there. Perhaps they're Italian tourists. Surrendered already. Does it show where we are? I'll come around here with that. Hey. See your reflection. Could you see 13 counties? You normally can. For those of you who want to travel north, that's what it looks like. That's looking up towards Droitwich and Birmingham. Down there for the M5. The seventh hole, something like that. And the orientation point there. And a trig point there looking back to where we just come from. Be the clubhouse down there. Come on, Finn. There's a Dexter dog down there. We've left the dogs at home today because we thought, well, it was a long journey either side to keep them in the car. And we thought there'd be a lot of people and possibly sheep. And it's a bit of a long walk for Dexter with his arthritic shoulder. So we left him at home. So someone lit a bonfire. I can smell the wood smoke. It's a sun worshipper and there's another fire over there in the distance. The moment the sun comes out, everyone has to light a bonfire and make the place stink. We've rejoined the Cotswold Way, dropped off the tongue. We were walking down the spur so out of the wind now. And you know which way the wind's blowing because you can look at the smoke. Just walking around the edge of Postlip Hall, looking for a tithe barn. Keep my eyes out for that. And lots of quarry workings around here. I imagine over the years people have dug out all the stone behind us. You can see the quarries to go and build Cheltenham. We found a spring. I bet that's very ancient. Looks it, doesn't it? Oh. Chilly. Maybe be footed. Yeah. That's because I don't use them. Striding barn in front of us. The manor house behind. And you would have given a tithe or a tenth of your crop to the manor that we sold off or used for the giving to the poor in times of hardship. If it's built out of stone, you're very wealthy. 
looking north. Looks like another tree's come down, just starting to redo the dry stone wall. Sorting out his stone, he's got the rubbly stone there and they've got the bigger stones here. And he's sorted out all the stone ready to put it all back together again. Antagonist Junior has found a puppy to play with. Yeah, he's found a friend. Found a friend. Hello, hello. Oh gosh! Hello, hello. Oh gosh! You know, take me with you. Take me with you. Looks like they're dipping the sheep there all the ewes. Just been talking to the farmer who's putting all the the lambs, sorting them all out, ready to go for slaughter tomorrow. 60 to 80 quid we reckon per lamb. Pre-Brexit prices. There's a very sweet smell of cow manure here. It really looks like they've got Certainly warmed up and you can see them all in the shed behind there. It's lambing season as well isn't it? And these are the, the ewes over here with their lambs if you look. I hold them up, all in there, they're all the ewes, ready to give birth, I bet they're hot. They're the heifers, off to become burgers. Are they Hereford? Very mixed, mixed, mixed lot of cattle, not cows, cows are the lady ones. Come to a little woodland brook, running after, clearing out the woods there. A few few nice bits of timber for logging. I'll just consult the map. Very woodland glady, isn't it? If you listen carefully, you might just be able to hear the crackle of the overhead wires looking down into the Vale, a lovely wool church with a tower there you can see in the middle. Can you hear the crackle if I shut up? Listen. Sounds like sizzling bacon. We're going to head up to Bellas Nap, which is a long barrow, and that looks like the path there. Just seen a butterfly down here. There he goes. It's that small tortoise shell. Oh, oh yeah, you're, you're allowed to hear me breathing in and out now. Oh, that was, gets the blood pumping up that hill. Prehistoric people were fit, weren't they? Put their tombs at the top. Oh. Badass Nap, Long Barrow Ancient Monument. A few nice houses down there. Sudley Castle, as you can see in the middle ground. There's a view we won't be able to see for much longer when these new trees grow, new plantation. Which we're familiar with Long Barrow's local to us near West Kennet. We've never heard of this place, but it's a good place to sit. See what's in here. Ooh! Whoa! This lamp goes in there, look. Nice ceiling. From the looks of things, it's all been very heavily restored, I'd suggest. And this is the northern end, which is all blocked up. You see the main stones at this end. Where you would have gone in and placed your burial. It's going over quite a vicious style. Some people have managed to bite their way up. But that's nap. 
give you more of an idea how it sits within the landscape. Walking down into Watley Farm. We've only got about another 5k to go. I mean, a bit of a wiggle on now because we need to get back to pick the girls up from their netball training. Watley Farm, or rather X Farm. I think it's seen better days. Quite a posh, posh farm in its day, I think. Yeah. Isn't Remains of an old car. Didn't want anyone coming down this track. Bit of an old harrow under there. Slabs of concrete. On we go. We've got about one and a half k to go. We're just that's our next hit point. Was this access to this house that tells us we're turning right onto a footpath? And then we're heading down this spur, about another one and a half k, back to the car. Need to go over this stile. Nice to hear the birds. Over across a bit of scrubby land. Very barrel shaped cows, heavily pregnant. They'll be giving birth any day now. To see deer galloping off in the distance there. Little white rumps. So another mammal to tick off our list for today. Not quite sure what that fence does. There's people coming over the horizon on the path towards us. As we descend the last bit of our walk down into Whittington. So we're heading south, I guess. Quintessential English rolling landscape there. House there has planted itself an orchard. Posh manor house ahead of us. The last little bit of scarp dropped down to the village. Interesting huts down there. I wonder if they're... They, well, I think they're chicken sheds. They've got little, like. yeah, little tiny doors down the side for the chickens. They're obviously not any more, but been and gone. There's Antagonist Junior going under the gate. And got to open the gate to get Mrs Antagonist through. Well, that's almost, someone not to do the honours, almost the end of our walk, sadly. Good walk. Some nice houses around here. A little rill trickling along, trickling along the side of the road. What a glorious day. And I'm guessing, hoping, fingers crossed, our car, I think another one's turned up. There's a fair bit of water in that little stream. Should just be around the corner here. The stream dives under the road. Hooray! So we finally made it. Uh, back for just after two. Three. Three, sorry. And now we need to go and pick up the girls from their netball coaching. So a good walk. How many kilometres? 19, something 21. like 21 kilometres. In about four and a half hours, plus an hour for stopping for have a have a meal and bits and pieces so thanks for watching us and uh, give us a nice like and a thumbs up and a subscribe and we'll see you next time bye heading off down the a40 it's the girls it's the girls <laughs>